Hi, my name's uh, Jeff Paul. Uh, this is going to be a watch presentation. I uh, feel a bit like shielding up the Big Bang Theory at the moment. Uh, currently, I'm about like 56 or 7 percent. So, I need to do a plug presentation show. Yeah, it means that's quite a bit more. Right. So, these are just some of my watches. Obviously, uh, some of the watch collections on there are amazing. They are magnificent. You know, you've got your Hublots, you've got your uh, IWC, you've got your new uh, Rolexes, etc. So you can go on, there's thousands of watch makes out there. These are what I would call your mid range uh, watches. You know, obviously, everybody has a budget, everybody has a ceiling to watch their, what they can spend on watches. Personally, myself, I don't have a ceiling, I just don't actually have the budget to actually buy the watches I really would like. Right, I'm going to start off. Uh, yeah. Just start off with what's nearer to me. There's obviously some flashing watches here, and there's obviously some very good uh, timepieces. This one, toy number seven, is a toy watch. Yeah, genuine toy watch. We always say genuine because they are top of the lot. This is uh, their uh, version of a uh, plastic plasmeric. No, <laughs> they use different words. Uh, it's green and white. Uh, I think it's got a little look of a Lacoste, you know. Obviously, these toy watches are your watches you buy from your Selfridges, you buy from your Harvey Nichols, place like that. But they are, they are coming down in price. So, this toy watch, you're looking about £135 for this. In fact, there's the tag here. As you can see, £135. Amazing. I got these that way straight away. There you go. Uh, I didn't purchase it for that price, so that's good. I got it for a fair bit cheaper. Only worn a few times, so hopefully it can, you know, contain a lot of its value. I'll just get out one more time because, you know, an interesting fact about this one is I can't wear it at the moment because one of my friends, Lucy, give her away to, she said it's girly. Um, she's only said it the once, but I'm a bit anal and I remember things like that. So not quite get over that yet. I'm sure I will at one point and get back on the wrist. So yeah, nice uh, fashion watch, something which is affordable and you know, nice. So let's get that out of the way. Go to another fashion watch. This one's a uh, guess. Guess is obviously a uh, fashion retailer. They make clothing, they make luggage, they make jewellery, they make watches. Uh, obviously, you know, if I was to uh, buy a watch, usually I wouldn't buy this from I wouldn't buy it from a clothes shop. But to be honest, if uh, if they sold watches at food shops, I'd probably, you know, end up with no food in a watch. But like I'm saying this for is this is actually uh, brought from the actual guest shop in the traffic centre. Liked it, saw it, got it. Japanese movement. Not a lot you can say about it. Rubber, the standard, 150 quid, 100 quid. So, yeah, it's nice. doesn't get worn too much at the moment, my, uh, my pops are wearing it. Right. Let's go on to this thing here. Now, everybody will know what this is, or most people will, anybody who likes watches. It's a tag, tag here. I'll open it up. Like I say, I've already took the watch and box out, uh, so it's safe to box. Here's what comes in it. This is a tag here, Formula One. Let's get a good view of it. It's a silver metal, uh, silver metal bracelet, steel, uh, plastic bezel, bezel rotating, bezels in beautiful condition. I've managed to pull off this really well. Crystal on this is magnificent. This is what I call a watch. Okay, it's the standard range of the watches. It's not going to be uh, anywhere near their most expensive, but you know it's nice. Uh, I would recommend if people want to tag Cheshire Oaks, which is where I brought this from, is a very good place. It's an outlet. Okay, the watches aren't always uh, the latest ones they have, but end of the day, it is what it is. This watch was purchased for, I believe it or not, roughly 400 quid. I know some people probably won't believe it, but at the end of the day, uh, you can pay £700 for this store. It goes into Robinson, it goes into Davy Brooks, it goes into Ernest Jones. That's what you're paying. Uh, even got the receipt for this one, just to uh, show that 
there's no mickey taking this basically is just showing you that if you look around you can get bargains actually I lie Four hundred and five it was. So hopefully you can see that. It's on that. Four hundred and five. Amazing value. Uh other places I'd recommend. America, you can uh, get them very cheap, obviously recommended retail prices. One continent to another differs, so that's a good source, good way of getting them. Obviously you might have to pay import duty, but you know, it's the right. Right. I'll go to uh, my next one. I'll go to this little beauty. This, some people would say, is fashion watch. I don't think so. This is fashion watch, but also mixes, you know, pure quality, pure manly, masculine watch. I don't know quite how to say it, uh, but it does sound a bit bad saying that. But you know what I mean when I show it across. This bad boy is an Oakley crankcase. Oakley, uh, you know shades, clothes, all that stuff, but watches, people think, one of my friends said to me the other day, oh, it's only in Oakley, you know, maybe he doesn't know, but it's Swiss made, made from the highest, uh, actual, uh, highest actual, uh, material, steel on it's beautiful, it's even got, like, uh, carbon round it, it's obviously not an Oakley, uh, time machine, so, Oakley time machines are made out of a titanium, this one say steel, so it's heavy, hard duty but crystal on it's magnificent, keeps time, Swiss movement, what more can you want? The only thing I'd say about uh, Oakley is not always easy to get um, internet watch but there you go, uh, this one was also brought from Oakley uh, Outlet Village which is a great, uh, great thing. Uh, right, I've got, so far we've gone through four watches, now I'll go to the last uh, film show and we're, we're getting uh, up to uh, very nice watches here, very nice. So actually, it's pretty, but you know, can't have everything. Tissot. This watch was the first watch I brought. Standard uh, Tissot, three hundred quid, but value for money, amazing. You know, Swiss made, hundred odd years of heritage, high quality materials, keep good time look in the right places you can get them cheap you know it's just a nice watch you know it's got the chronograph feature not all my watches do some people like chronograph some people don't how often do you want to use second mating hours uh, you know I, I don't stop watching time watch too many things my watches are for me to tell the time they're for me to be comfortable that if I need to know that time I can tell them they're there to actually make me feel at ease and um, you know I would put on the fact that it's a clear looking watch and readable watch a lot more important like I say Tissot one thing I will show you about Tissot which isn't the watch which I always think brilliant Tissot is the box my instant beast uh, this is a uh, Tissot you can tell it's Swiss made it's got a Swiss thing there got the books in it which is a book about the watch it's a book about the history of the company it's an amazing watch they are incredible and this one's got particular sentiment because I basically, that, that was one of my first watches I collected and it was a watch which I gave to myself for something I was proud of, so it means something to me. Right, now we'll go to TW Steel. It's TW Steel, latest watch I've just brought. Uh, in fact, it's only about a week old. This is the Oakley Vegas, you know, only two or three weeks old. Uh, this little beauty, TW, it's Dutch company, it's Japanese made, it's not Swiss, but it's not the be-all and end-all, you're looking at about uh, 400 quid for one of these, 350 you can get them from places, 300, this is what I would say to you, and I'm putting this out, if you fancy a watch, and you want a watch, don't just go and buy it, give it a bit of thought, give it a bit of a reference, look out at stuff, this one, Current retails 160 <coughs> pound more on Amazon UK to where I bought it. I bought it Amazon USA. So you're talking about 270, 280 Amazon UK. I paid 120. 
Okay, fair enough. I paid an extra 15 tax duty and other stuff. Yeah, I got it sent here within four days from USA, which is amazing. But end of the day, I saved over four point of hundred pounds, and I've seen these retail for four hundred. So can't complain. I definitely give uh, Amazon Germany a look, give Amazon France a look, Amazon USA. Uh, the same watch in a different country. Prices go up drastically or not? Just takes a little bit of work, you know. Uh, Amazon Germany, Amazon France, easy to get translator, easy to order it. Uh, Amazon Germany, for instance, you can actually use your English speaking, otherwise you just uh, type in U H I N, which is Ian, which means watches. So, right there, the watches I've shown. I've actually got one more to show, which I should have pulled out sooner. This is probably my favourite watch. This is a Luminance Centric Gear, Swiss made. This was painted by a bloke who decided to make watches and thought, well, you know what? How can we sell these watches? What can be our gimmick? And I really don't think it's a gimmick. <coughs> it's just a brilliant thing. This is a Luminance, not chronograph, normal watch. But normal does it, it doesn't give it justice. It's a uh, carbon force, strong as anything, actually worn by the Navy SEALs in the USA. Amazing, amazing watch. One of my favourites just because of the price on it. Paid £100 for it, retails £27, £275. So, you know, I regularly see this watch for £250 plus. Um, it's just a beautiful watch. Luminance does what it says. In the dark, it's a bad mess. You know, it, it, if you need to tell that time, you need to tell that time. So, yeah, packing is brilliant. You know, you get this. It's like a glasses case. Amazing. So all in all, yeah, some nice watches. I've got others. Uh, Timexes, diesels, swatches, and a couple of brails. Uh, but, yeah, these are my main, uh, main part of my 20-odd watch collection. Uh, talking about the watches I've sent you, shown you here, I'm talking I've paid about two thousand on them, two 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 thousand, two thousand three on them. But you're talking uh, of a good four and a half grand worth of watch if you buy me. Uh, obviously, you know once you've uh, got that watch, it goes down a bit in value. But I'm quite happy with what I've got, uh, and most of my watches when I have parted with them, they've, they've been on the money again, they've, they've covered most of the expenses. I look to get 60-70% back of what I've uh, paid for one and then move on to the next one. Uh, yeah, my favourite ones out of these, like I would say, I would go the Luminox, and I'd go the TW Steel, I'd go the Oakley, and I wouldn't put the tag in the top three, because it's standard tag, but tags are magnificent, you know. The last 20 years so maybe i'm doing it injustice yeah this has been uh jeff giving you a little uh show my uh, watches obviously don't be too critical it's one of my uh, first uh, youtube videos so hope uh, people who uh, know me give it a watch try and get it to at least 20 viewers and you know people who don't uh, hopefully well watch it because i'm interested in the subject rather you know interesting watches rather than interested in me making a pillage of myself so yeah hope to see you again soon maybe speak about a couple of watches i spoke about here but do it in more detail uh, okay thanks hope you enjoyed it